I can totally do this song. <laughs> this is actually one of the songs from War that I know really well. Two Hearts Beat is one. Um, I can do this song really, I mean, well, for me, for my abilities, I can do it pretty well because I know, I know the song really well. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it like I did the last time I did begging. I'm going to, I'm going to flip it so that you can see the, the words while they're coming up on the screen. Um, Uh, War is definitely one of my favorite U2 albums. Joshua Tree and uh, Rattle and Hum rank a little higher for me. Well, Joshua Tree certainly does. Rattle and Hum is, has some pretty great songs on it. But that was also when they started kind of like getting like, oh, we were so successful with just Joshua Tree that we just don't, we want to try different things now. Um, War was kind of like in their prime when they were rising up, right? Is when they're rising up as a band and they're doing their best activism. And um, I made, okay, so Dave Min actually liked this tweet on um, that I put out a long time ago and he fucking found it the other day. Um, he liked this tweet that I put out uh, a while ago, but he liked it recently. And it was, I made the comparison that his wife, Jane, I think that I did this on her birthday, maybe. <laughs> I might have done this on her birthday. I said that Jane is to Dave as Allie is to Bono. The reason I said that, Dave, is, and maybe you, maybe you do, maybe you don't know this, but Allie is actually far more loved and respected and famous in Ireland than Bono is because Allie is the activist behind that marriage. She's the one doing all the work and all the activism and she's the one who convinced him to go to, down to Nicaragua to do activism work and stuff and she's the one who got him into all of this humanitarian efforts that's why i made that comparison because i'm not trying to be that like that's not a knock on you at all like obviously like you are into this and you picked the right woman who like has all of those abilities jane is so amazing i'm just being real with you jane is really amazing and she is kind of the brain in your operations let's be real Okay, so I'm going to do two hearts beat as one. I hope you take that the right way. Like, I'm just, I was just trying to give compliments to your wife. Like, I'm literally just trying to give compliments to your wife. All right, here it goes. All right, so this is what it looks like on the screen. Uh, the War album, they, uh, their first album was called Boy. And so they had a, like a, prepubescent boy on the cover of boy and when they did war they kind of like tried to recreate the imaging from boy it was they were it was only 83 they were only like four years into their band but they were trying to like recreate imaging that they did from when they first came out <laughs> I don't 
thing. Don't get it right. Beat on you. Beat on me. Beat on to be said I don't know if it's black or white there's nothing to see it red I don't get the answers right I leave that to you is this love out of fashion or is it the time of year are these words distraction to the words you want to hear I try to spit it out, I try to explain the way I feel, oh yeah, two hearts. Okay, <laughs> another classic from War. War is a great album for those of you who are uh, new to or have not listened to U2. <laughs> U2 has some amazing songs. They've gotten a bad rep because uh, they did really take advantage of capitalism to kind of screw up their messaging. Because they used to be an amazing activist band back in the 80s. And then they got really weird in the 90s. And totally ruined their reputations. And then there was that whole thing with Edge. Dave Evans is his real name. But Edge bought like a property in Malibu. And caused a, a ruckus with his neighbors and shit. They've gotten a little bit too rich for their britches if you will. But in the 80s, when it mattered to me because I was a kid, um, they were an amazing activist band. And that's why they were my favorite band. And I got a ton of flack, a ton of flack from my goth friends for admitting to them that U2 was actually my favorite fucking band. Because everybody else was like, when we asked, like, what's your favorite band? They'd be like, The Cure. Susie and the Banshees, Depeche Mode. And I'm like, you too. And they're like, oh. <laughs> Got all kinds of crap for being, for you two being my favorite band. But it was my favorite band. They actually have a really rich and interesting history. And if you compare any of those other bands to you two, Bono has one of the greatest rock voices of all time. That is indisputable. He's right up there with Sting, you guys. Um, all right, there you go.